Please, you know, people walking through my head. 
You know, before, before we get into it, I gotta tell you, you know, so I actually, I have a couple of friends here. Well, I mean, spiritually speaking, I have a lot of friends. No, but what I mean is, it's just occurred to me, and I don't even know why I bring this up in any case in the first place, but it's just occurred to me. I have a couple of friends here, one of whom I've never actually physically met. Like we've been friends like through photography on the internet for like God, possibly about 15 years now. We've never met. Can you believe it? We've never actually met in person. I mean, we've FaceTimed a bunch, but we haven't, we haven't actually. And that kind of, however kind of, you know, random that, that may seem, that, that actually is a testament to, to how when we are open and we are we allow ourselves to be vulnerable. That's a testament to how beautiful life can be. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, it's great to see you. It's really good to see you. It's great to be in this venue. Have, have, have we played here before? No. Yes, no. Oh, we never put well, but there you go. Even more of a reason to be here. You know, because, I mean, I know I played in Seattle before, but I don't know if you've actually played here. After, oh, I see. 
Oh, right, I got you. Okay. I, by the way, I didn't hear anything you were saying because I thought these things were nice, but, but I got to at least make an attempt. My name is Seal. Uh, uh, this is my extended family. We, it's great to be here. A uh, little bit of a bittersweet thing because we're, we're nearing the end of our US tour. This is the 27th show, and there are 28. So we're going to make it count tonight, right?
Chasing where, chasing where the love is on the line of the fields. Oh, 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 oh,
whatever you do. You see, what I see can make me stop and stand. But who am I to judge the color of your hair? Surely all the feeling much the same as I do. He's having a hard time at the moment. But back then he was a Prime Minister. So I used to see him every week. And one time, I got home in the evening and his son was lying on my bed, you know, like he owned it. So I said, out. I mean, he was clothed and my daughter wasn't there, so that was okay. But the next week when I saw Boris, I went over and I said, uh, your son was at my house last week. And he looked at me. He said, oh, uh, I hope you didn't give him any drugs. So my kids get their own jobs, and they have done for years. <laughs> and then he looked at me and he said, Don't I know you? 
aren't you going to chap in it some that song? I said, well, some of you, Boris, will probably mean this one.